Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well and are enjoying the day, evening, wherever you are. Um, so my last video was the get to know me in a timer, answer as many questions as I could in 10 seconds, no 10 minutes. Um, I really enjoyed doing it and I thought it was really nice to share a bit of myself with you even though the questions are kind of stupid but I think it makes it better than just the usual how old are you, you know, how many brothers and sisters do you have, where are you from, etc. So I thought what I would do is answer some more questions on my iPad here, um, but also do my makeup so you can kind of get ready with me and get to know me a little bit more. First off, let me just pin this bit of hair up. Um, oh, very attractive. I literally look like a pig's tail. And get these out of the way so I have my moon head. Okay, so let's go. Let's find a question. What is the first thing you do when you open your eyes in the morning? Um, so apart from turn off my alarm, uh, the first thing that I do when I open my eyes, oh, I don't really know, I don't really know. Is that kind of like, what's the first thing you do when you like get out of bed or just simply what's the first thing you do when you open your eyes? Because if it's what's the first thing I do when I open my eyes, then the answer is I turn off my alarm. Um, but if you want a bit more detail about my morning routine, as glamorous as it is, um, I just get out of bed and get Martin's um, bait bag for work sorted, so like his lunch, uh, what he's going to take, make his flask of tea because I'm such a lovely girlfriend. Um, and he works really early, like we get up at like quarter to six and he's out the door by like 10 past six, so if I can help in any way, then I don't mind doing it because he works a really long day, doesn't get home until after six in the night. Um, so I don't mind doing that sort of thing for him. What is the first app you check when you wake up in the morning? So the first app, hmm, well, I don't go on it straight away. Like I wait till Martin's gone. I have, I make a cup of peppermint tea. I make some porridge. Um, I'm trying to be healthy and lose a bit of weight. So that's why I'm eating those things. Um, so the first app I go on is probably Instagram. Um, I don't know why, it's just kind of like my little routine. I'll go on Instagram, have a little look-see. Well, what I do, because I know you all want to know, is I will go on Instagram, look at all the posts, scroll, and then I will go back to the top and look at the stories. <laughs> I don't know why I do it in that order. I just do. What's another question? Oh, I've got makeup on my iPad already. I knew that was going to happen. What book do you remember being important to you? That's a nice question. Um, so as it goes, I actually don't read. That sounds really shitty and really like childish. Don't get me wrong, I love reading and one of my goals for this year was to start reading more. Um, and we're halfway through the year and I haven't even picked up a book, which is really sad. Um, I probably should, but as a child, I used to read so much. I was just like a little bookworm. Um, I always used to have, a, I always used to have my head in a book. Um, and one of, well, the book that sticks out to me the most. Um, let me see if I remember the name. I think it's called The Faraway Tree. I'm pretty sure that's the name, or The Faraway Children. I'm pretty sure it's The tr Faraway Tree. Yeah, and basically it was about this like magic tree. Um, that sounds really stupid. But I just remember like, really loving this book. I don't know where I got it from. Um, I think I read it at like my dad's house when I was younger. Uh, yeah, I used to love this book. Uh, I'm not really gonna go into what it was all about, but it's kind of like a book that really sticks out to me and that I actually really would love to read again. So maybe I can read that as like my first book of 2020. Okay, do I have enough foundation on? Just a little thing, when I'm putting this foundation on, which is the MUA Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation, it, I know it looks like I'm putting a lot on or that I'm taking a really long time, but a little goes a long way with this. So I would rather do it in small steps rather than shot a lot on my face and it be too cakey. Especially as it's really hot outside and I don't really fancy having like a sweaty, cakey, horrible, face. What is the last film you saw? 
The last film I saw was, me and Martin watched a film the other day. What was it? We watched The Italian Job, but I don't think that was the last one we saw. Was it? The Italian Job? Okay, I'm gonna go with that. So we watched the original 1960, 50, whatever year it was. Um, didn't really enjoy that too much. Um, oh, people are probably gonna say it's a classic, um, but I didn't really enjoy it. And then we watched the updated version, which is like early 2000s, I think, with my, damn, what's his name? The guy that's in like all the action movies, Mark, what's his name? He's in Transformers, he's in Daddy's Home, um, oh my god, what the hell is his name? I hope you're all screaming at the, at your screens right now, but I can't for the life of me think of his freaking name. Oh, what is his name? Okay, it's gonna come to me. Matt Wahlberg, I knew it. There we go. Yeah, so that is the last movie I think we watched. I kind of feel like it wasn't. Um, but that's the last one that I can remember. What is the last thing you watched on TV? Uh, the Big Bang Theory, because I was just watching it before I did this video while I was having my dinner. So that was the last thing I watched. What is the thing you changed the TV channel with? What is the thing you changed the TV channel with? Like the remote? Why is that even a question? Is that because... Wait, what am I looking for? Contour, contour, where would I be? Oh my god, where is... Ah, oh, in there. Um, yeah, the remote. I think that's maybe because people call it something different. Like, I'm sure people call it a clicker or a zapper, but where I'm from, we call it a remote. What languages besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Okay, this is a good question because recently I've been wanting to learn another language. Um, I've been watching YouTube videos about this guy. I cannot pronounce his name. Shalma. It starts with an X. Oh God, I can't think of his name. Um, yeah, and basically he speaks like fluent Chinese Mandarin and he does videos where he like goes to Chinese places. Um, he lives in New York, but he goes to like Chinatown and kind of like uh, surprises them. So he starts speaking off English and then he goes into like Chinese and they're always so shocked because I'm, I'm guessing not a lot of people speak Chinese um, in sort of like America. I mean, we come across people who are fluent in it. Um, yeah, it really makes me want to learn Chinese and I know it's super hard. Um, but I would actually love to do it. And also with me teaching like Chinese students, I mean, we're not supposed to speak in Chinese to them, but I don't know, I think I would just like to do that. Either Chinese or German. Uh, but to be honest, I would actually love to speak every language. I mean, how amazing would that be if we could just speak every single language? I would bloody love to do that. What piece of technology can you not live without? Oh, that's a bit of a shit question because I don't really want to say like, oh, I can't live without my phone. But then like, I do my job on my laptop. So probably my laptop at the moment that I couldn't live without, because that's what I work on. What position do you sleep in? These questions are so random, man. Um, so I'm sleep all over, pretty much. I start off on my back. Um, I hope this is not too visual. I start off on my back and probably just switch over the to my side. Sometimes I do the ladies you'll know where you're laid and you have like one leg and angle. So say this is my leg, it's like up and the other is down, like that. I can't really get away with sleeping on my front uh, just cause it makes me uncomfortable. Those are the positions that I sleep in. What was the first concert you ever attended? Um, the first concert, I think it was like a Smurfs concert that I went with with my mom when I was really young, obviously. Um, yeah, I have, why is that wet? Hmm. I have fond memories of being at the town hall where I'm from and just watching giant Smurfs on the stage. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I used to love the Smurfs. So that was probably a fucking, oh, 
calm down, come on. I was probably like my dream come true when I was that age. I don't know how old I must have been, maybe like five. I actually don't remember a lot from my childhood, so it's good that I still have those types of memories. What was the last thing you bought? Um, the last thing I bought was um, the last thing I bought was like a present for my friend because her birthday is in two days, um, but it's probably going to have gone by the time that this goes up. Uh, yeah, so I bought her some presents and a card um, that's going to get delivered to her house on her birthday because obviously social distancing. And also she lives in Sunderland, so, and I'm in Scotland at the moment, so I wouldn't get a chance to see her. But I miss her so much. What was your first ever cell phone? My first ever cell phone. Okay, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was a Nokia phone. Many, many years ago, I think, I was like, how old was I? Where's my brush? Um, I think I was maybe about, I want to say nine, which I know seems really young have a phone um but it's not like nowadays where you've got iphones and they're really expensive i mean i'm not sure how expensive this phone was it was probably second hand uh to be fair but it was nokia one and it literally had two options on the menu and that was to call someone or to text someone <laughs> that was literally it so that kind of shows how old i am um yeah and it came in this like it was literally like this big so thick like a brick it came in this big thick plastic case and i think i got it for christmas one year off my mum uh my mum and dad or just my mum i can't remember if they were together at the time probably, probably just my mum i guess what drains your energy wow what a question what drains my energy So what makes me exhausted? Hmm. To be honest, I feel drained like every single day. Which is not good. <laughs> Probably should go to the doctors or something. Um, but what drains my energy? Let me think. I can't actually do a makeup and answer question at the same time. I realise that I'm not very skilled at that. Uh, so I apologise if I'm like stopping and starting all the time. Maybe like negativity. Like negative people. Like... People are just negative for no reason. Um, like, and it drains you having to like interact with them. Kind of, yeah, maybe negative people. Um, also trying to like be something that you're not is so draining. Um, like trying to be happy when you're sad is draining. Trying to put on a front, put on a face to show that you're okay when you're not, that's draining. Anxiety is so draining. Um, yeah, I guess those are those are the type of things that drain me. Those are my answers anyway. What are some of the different jobs that you've had in your life? Okay, let's go through my resume. Um, I will start doing my makeup all. When I was 16, I got my first job at our local corner shop. So like our news agents, you know, where you just sell milk, uh, bread, all that good stuff. I got a job there working three days a week for three hours, um, so nine hours in total, and I was paid like three pound an hour or some crap like that. Uh, so I had that job, and then I worked in uh, British home stores when I got older, when I was in college, um, just in the cafe area. Um, RIP British home stores because it's no longer around. Yes, yeah, so I worked there for a couple of years, then I worked at Cineworld at the cinema, which honestly was one of the best jobs that I've ever had, especially as I was in university at the time. So it was so flexible. Um, I just used to work weekends while I was at uni. Um, it was so fun. I made so many friends while I was there. Like one of my best friends, Mel, I met her there. So we've been friends for, oh God, 2012, 14, like six years. And I'm so, Glad that I met her there because she's just amazing. Yeah, one of the best jobs. We used to go on nights out all the time. It was so fun. Shout out to Miss Anywell Peeps. Um, even though I don't talk to a lot of people anymore, like I still love you all. Uh, yeah, so Sunny World. Then I worked there for a fair few years to be fair. Um, after I graduated, 
I had a marketing job for Tui, um, who used to be Thompson Holidays, but it was Tui. So I did marketing and social media. Hated it. Um, wasn't necessarily the job. It was kind of just the environment. Although the job was pretty shit, to be fair. <sighs> Wouldn't recommend. After that, where did I work? Oh, in between all this, I also did like um, graduate job of like doing marketing and things. Then I was a support assistant for people living with um, learn difficulties. And then I got my job as a journalist, which is, as you know, what I did my degree in. Got a job as a journalist, work for That's TV, York. Um, that's where I started. Then in, uh, then after a, Nearly a year I moved to Aberdeen to work in the Aberdeen office, obviously, because Martin moved up here and now I teach English online. So yeah, those are some of the different types of jobs that I have. A lot of different random things, um, but I think it's really hard to know what you want to do. And if you watch like previous videos, you've seen me have breakdowns because I don't know what I want to do in life. And... I'd like to say it gets easier, but it doesn't. So good luck to all you young'uns. <laughs> um, no, I'm joking. Some people have their shit together, some people don't. Exhibit A over here. But I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Fingers crossed. What current world events are really troubling you? Wow, what a good one for this time. Obviously, the most, the main thing that's going on right now, Black Lives Matter. That is literally so important. Um. I'm not going to say too much on it because I don't really want it to turn into like a political sort of thing but it's so important. I am all for it. Um, I've been sharing things on my Instagram, on Twitter. I think that it's about time that shit changed. I think to view someone else differently just because of the colour of their skin is so ridiculous. It's so immature. It's so... just so... Just mind boggling. How can someone have a view that you are more superior to somebody else just because you're white? And it just honestly boggles my mind, like, to see all these people that are just like, so against this movement, for what? Like, why is it troubling you so much to see another culture thrive? Like, what is your problem? Um, yeah, like, like I said, I'm not gonna go into it too much, but that is something that Wait, what was even the question? What events? What world events are really troubling? Yeah, so that. Um, also, I would just like to say that another thing that's bothering me is I'm seeing a lot of things on Twitter about sexual assault victims coming, oh, how can I say it? Like coming forward, sharing their stories, um, you know, being so brave and so like speaking up about what they've been through um, and then just people just saying like, oh, well, it's so funny that, you know, one girl comes along and so many other girls are like, you know, her, have allegedly been assaulted. They're just jumping on the bandwagon. Like, no, that's not what it is. Have you ever thought that maybe if one girl speaks up, that will give other women, other girls, the courage to also speak up and share their story? Why is it necessarily jumping on the bandwagon just because more stories are coming out? They're being brave. They're seeing someone else be brave and thinking wow if she can do it or if he can do it then i can do it and then to see people put them down and kind of diminish their experience and make it seem as though it didn't happen it's just a trend like fuck off like no and that's what i'm gonna say on on the matter but those are the kind of things that are troubling me at the moment what has been the hardest thing for you to face or learn uh, maybe that life just doesn't work out how you hoped how you planned on a scale of one to ten with ten being the highest and one being the lowest rate your fashion sense <laughs> um well i've got a plain gray bodysuit on and a pair of shorts today um i'm gonna give it a solid i mean this is probably too high a solid two um for my fashion sense because i don't really have one i don't think i would like to i wish i had a good fashion sense and there are so many clothes that i see online that i really wish i could pull off but Honestly, I don't even know what my style is. Like, I kind of fluctuate between a lot of things. Like, I don't really have, like, one particular style. Um, and at the moment, I don't really enjoy wearing clothes. 
um, I just feel so uncomfortable like in everything I wear because I've gained a bit of weight over the past couple of months and I'm trying to lose it um, but I just don't feel comfortable in anything so literally if I could wear baggy t-shirts and shorts every single day I would um, I don't know if I should be thankful for lockdown because I've been able to wear leggings and joggers every day or if that's the reason why I've gained weight um, so I'm not too sure but yeah I've really my fashion sense is solid too like I said okay, I'm trying to pop a bit of yellow on here but it's not coming through very well I'm also not the best at nail club as you can probably tell let's have another question on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the highest and 1 being the lowest rate your driving skills <sighs> um <laughs> I actually don't think I'm that bad of a driver um, when it actually comes down to it like I'm all right the only thing that stops me is my anxiety I have really bad anxiety when it comes to driving I don't like driving places that I've never been I don't like driving long distance I'm just a bit of a wuss when it comes to driving to be honest uh, yeah so I would, what would I rate my driving maybe a six <laughs> um, if you ask Martin though I'd probably give it a lower score but yeah, I'd probably give it a six, maybe. Um, there's a lot of these one to 10 ones, but I don't want to do that. What did you want to be when you grew up? Good question. Um, okay, I should probably start doing my eyeliner. Uh, what did I want to be when I grew up? Actually, I don't know if I can concentrate and do this at the same time. So let me answer this question and then I will do my eyeliner. Um, okay, when I was younger, I wanted to be, for a long time, I wanted to be an archeologist. Um, and it, like, I don't know if you can kind of um, do like a specific archaeologist, but um, like an Egyptian archaeologist, I guess. I want to like focus on all that stuff. I used to love learning about the Egyptians um, and the Greeks. Like I used to love history. I still do. Um, but yeah, I wanted to be an archaeologist and study the Egyptians and cool things like that. Like dig things up and um, all that sort of stuff. I wanted to do that for a really long time and then to well from being like a kid like I was a kid and I wanted to do that then I wanted to be a child psychologist for like the tiniest amount of time um and then from like 14 I wanted to be a journalist and yeah that was the kind of thing that I wanted to be okay eyeliner is done let's find another question I'm so sorry if this video is like super long feel free to um and if you want what do you find yourself always procrastinating um so usually youtube and my blog i usually find myself procrastinating on because i think that well with my blog i think i can't really think of anything to write about um i get really stuck like i love doing like sort of life updates on there um and things like that but like if nothing happens then i don't really know what to write and now i kind of feel as you get older that do people even like you know like beauty reviews and things anymore like oh i've just got this new hair product i might review it do people even care about stuff like that anymore do i even care about stuff like that anymore um i'm not too sure so i usually find myself procrastinating on procrastinating on writing my blog um also making youtube videos because i never know what to make videos on because you see everyone doing hauls of clothes Halls of makeup, halls of this and that, um, and that's all fine and well, but literally I'm so skint pretty much all the time. Um, I haven't had an income coming in for the past couple of months. Um, so I hopefully get paid from this job next month, which is not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Um, yeah, and it's just really hard to think of videos when you kind of skint. Like, I'd love to do hauls and all this stuff but if I can't don't have any money to buy things then then what am I gonna do I don't know what the hell are these questions is your father bald <laughs> yes he is actually <laughs> sorry Dave when did you immediately when did you immediately click with someone you've just met why what was the long-term result when did I click with somebody there's a few cases I guess um so when did i click with someone let's think of people 
Okay, okay, my, one of my longest friends, Danielle, I've spoken about before on this channel. Um, I can't remember clicking with her because we've been friends since we were like three year old. So I'm guessing we kind of just click straight away and remained friends. Uh, my friend Kaylee, um, we met at university. Um, I'm guessing we clicked straight away. Um, I think she always has a story about when she came and sat next to me. Um, yeah, so I think we've been friends from like the get go. What was the question? What makes you click? Or when did you? Okay, I'm on the right track. So yeah, it's Kaylee, Mel, like I said, at Sydney World. I think we, actually, I don't think we did click straight away. I think we'd worked together for a while before we actually became friends. I think, and she won't mind me saying this, um, she's kind of one of those girls where it's like, oh, before I met you, I thought you were a bitch. Um, because she's just got one of those faces. But oh, she's one of my best friends. I love her bits. Um, and then obviously mine. Um, I think on our first date, we clicked. And... I think I just knew, oh my god, that sounds so soppy and cheesy. I think I just knew that he was someone that I wanted to be with. Because obviously you go on dates and like some people you just don't click with, so it just doesn't work out. You're like, mm, no, you were nice, but you weren't like my cup of tea. Like, I don't really see a future for us. Um, but yeah, with Barn, it sort of happened straight away. Um, I'm going to stop here and do my eyebrows because I really can't concentrate. Would you rather do cardio or lift weights? Oh god, um, at the moment, let's try and find a lipstick. Um, at the moment, I would rather oh god, do both. I should do both anyway. I'm trying to do more cardio just so I lose weight. Yeah, but I like doing weights as well. Not that I can lift super heavy, um, but I do enjoy weight training um, and just a mixture of both. I really am en enjoying HIIT workouts um, at the moment. Even though I hate them while I'm doing them. Uh, yeah, I hate them. Um, but I love them at the same time. Okay, well, this is the finished makeup look. Um, I think it's kind of the same one that I wore in my last video, to be fair. I just thought I would redo it for this one. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions that you want to ask me, then leave me in the comments. Um, and if you have any videos that you want to see from me, then please please let me know because like I said, I can't think of any, excuse me. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.